Hey little buddy, my name is and welcome back for another video of Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. We're gonna continue this series, you already know. Right now we are in the intermission between the two sagas, between uh, uh, the Saiyan Saga and the Namek Saga. So basically, it's right before the Namek Saga. Uh, so it's stuff that we haven't seen that uh, has been added to the game. Uh, when we last left off, we uh, found out lunch. Now we just gotta talk to Roshi and tell him that uh, we found her where she was. I found Launch, but she ran off somewhere. Hmm? What are you talking about? Launch came back not too long ago. Huh? Wait, but oh, did someone call for me? Well, shit. Looks like uh, Launch <laughs> sneezed again or something. What? What happened to her? Oh, you must be the boy Master Roshi's been talking about. You're Goku's son, right? Yes, I am. It's a pleasure to meet you. My name's Launch. You're Launch? But the woman I met before had blonde hair. Oh, uh, that's the other me. People tell me my personality changes whenever I sneeze. And my hair turns blonde, I guess. Oh, <gasps> your personality changes? Yeah, that's pretty much I her being bipolar, I guess. I think it might be which some is sort interesting. Of condition I have. Nice uh, definition for being bipolar, boys. That might actually be the best way to describe it. Ah, I remember. That's what I forgot to tell you earlier. Yeah, Frank's for nothing, for Roshi. Come on now. Sorry about that. <laughs> I really hope the other me didn't cause you too much trouble. She can be a bit harsh sometimes. <laughs> uh, no. I'm just surprised to see you here since she said something about going to look for someone. Right. When I came to... I was near West City and I had no clue what was going on. And so I decided to come here. Uh, I see. Oh, I know. Why don't I cook something nice as a thank you for dealing with the other me? It's the least I could do. I've been wanting to try out a few recipes for a while now. Yes, I think that's a great idea. We can all eat together. Uh, okay. All right. We just unlocked uh, lunch, boys. Uh, she's good at cooking stills. Not really anything else. She does. It, she is an adult though. Uh, adult things. I can now equip uh, a Krillin to my party, which is good. I'm going to do that right now. So we've got Krillin now. It's level 12. I'm level 18. He needs to be upgraded Krillin big time. We need to level him up a little bit here. Work him up. He's been slacking, boys. Uh, Alright, let's go to community. Community board. I already know where I'm going to place her. Obviously, she's uh, definitely an adult more than anything. As you can see, well, she can be either adult or cooking. She's got more of a thing with uh, Master Roshi, so I'm, I'm putting her as an adult. Uh, let's call her right here, boys. And we are going to see if there's anything for adult-wise. Yeah, there is. Let's just try to upgrade her as much as possible here. All the proficiencies, that's what I'm talking about right there. There we go. The rest, I'm not going to worry too much about it. Alright, we're good. Next mission, boys. I don't know. Talk to Chi-Chi. So we got to go back and uh, talk to Chi-Chi. Let me just... Really yeah, alright. Let me just see if we don't, we don't have anything to worry about here. There's nothing we can uh, take a look at here. No, we're good. So basically, we just got to go back to uh, our home. But there is a mission available, it looks like, at Capsule Corporation, which I am tempted to do. So that's... We're definitely going to do it. Alright, here we go, boys. So there's a mission here available. I did equip the the mods really quick for the XP. Uh, when we're doing the side quest, uh, that's what I'm going to do. For the side quest, I'm equipping the mods. Uh, let me see, Bulma, what does she need right now? She uh, needs to talk to me. Hi, Bulma. Uh, what brings you here? I was just in the area. I thought I'd stop by. So that doesn't mean you've got some time. I've got a small favor to ask you. Alright. Let me go ahead and uh, ask her what she wants. Foreboding fear. Or foreboding fear. What does she need? Uh, okay. What is it that you need your he uh, help with? Remember that brute Radis? I was hoping you could bring me some parts from his face pod. You mean my dad's brother? Yeah, I remember him. He's the one that kidnapped me. Sure. Yeah, I know. It might dr drudge up some bad memories for you, but I need parts from that space pod. The Honka Jung is sporting some alien take way more advanced than what we've got here. I've had some people of Capture Corporation bring what they could find, but it's not enough. Well, you want me to find a... Okay, so... It's a fetch quest, basically, so let's go, boys. 
Let's go uh, do that fetch quest. Not guaranteed that I'm gonna do every side quest. Uh, or I'm going to show you guys every side quest, right? But uh, some of them I might show you. I don't know. I'll, I'll see how it goes, really, how the, uh, the whole thing goes. But we got to go back to East Ravine right now. So I'll go there, collect the samples for her, uh, talk to her again. You guys don't need to see that. It's just a fetch quest, uh, really. Nothing too important. All right, boys, we're coming off towards uh, Chi Chi's house. What happened with Bulma is basically... I got a, uh, I got her uh, some sort of uh, thing, right? Uh, a scout or whatever from Vegeta space, uh, not Vegeta, but uh, Raditz space pod, and uh, we found out uh, a, lo a lost communication between Vegeta and Nappa talking about a Lord Frieza. Well, not actually Frieza. It, they just said Lord Free or whatever. Uh, so it's kind of a little bit of cameo, uh, cameo or whatever of uh, what's uh, coming to us. But um, aside from that, nothing really interesting. So then I have to, I, I skipped that. Uh, didn't have to show you guys anything about that. Uh, it's just a right uh, side quest. I don't, I'm not going to show you guys a side quest unless it's really something particular that I do remember. It's kind of cool and everything. But uh, I don't feel like uh, this was uh, that important compared for the story wise. We did level up. Uh, Krillin and uh, both Gohan leveled up. Uh, by one level each, so that's at least gonna help uh, them out a little bit here. Let's talk to oh, Chi Chi. Yep, I'm back. Let's go. We're, uh, we're gonna continue the story here. That's so. If you have time before Bulma finishes her spaceship, you might as well get some studying in. Uh, okay. Got some XP, boys. There we go. We're gonna level up with that. After a fierce showdown with the Saiyans, the Earth was safe once again. But that safety came at a hefty price. The Dragon Balls, the only hope of bringing back those who had lost their lives, were gone. Thanks to what Vegeta said, however, Gohan and the others learned of more Dragon Balls on Kami's homeworld, Planet Namek. After they had found Kami's old spaceship, Gohan and the others made preparations for their long, arduous trip to Namek. All right, boys, that's pretty good. We're uh, pretty. Uh, we're almost ready to go to Namek here. Almost. Hello? Gohan, is that you? Oh, perfect. You're just the person I wanted to talk to. So listen, it's about the spaceship. The, the spaceship? Uh, are you sure you want to talk to me about that? All right, looks like we got to go to Capsule Corp, boys. Talk about? Guess I'd better head to Capsule Corporation to find out. Let's go. Holding out for hope. On Planet Namek. Here we go. We're almost there. We're almost to, uh, up to the next saga, boys. Uh, not too much to do here. Maybe Let's just maybe see first what Bulma to has to, uh, to, to me, has to give us or whatever as uh, sure to I'll tell us. We do have a side quest, a little bit of a side quest here with um, uh, the Ox King. So, Mishi, really quick, do we have? Okay, so we do. We have three side quests, different side quests here. We have the Ox King here. We've got something at Kame House, and I have something at the West City. Uh, I'm not sure if I really want to do those. I, I am going to look for all of them, what they are willing to bring me. First, we're going to try to do the Ox King really quick, uh, see what type of mission it is. I, I know what uh, mission it is, so I'm going to skip it. It's not that important. Uh, re it's really not. All right, boys. So I, I did decide to do this one, though. There's two missions at Kame House. What happened with Chi Chi is she was worried with me uh, about me and everything, so I gave her some ingredients for food, and uh, she gave me a nice good meal, and uh, basically that was her... A last like a, a meal of goodbye basically before I uh, head out to Namek. That's what all it was really. She just was worried and everything. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the uh, Krillin mission. I know for a fact that I'm not uh, gonna do uh, the mission for Turtle though because I know what type of mission it is. It's just uh, food and everything. We got some uh, uh, the uh, armor stuff, but I'm not gonna do his mission right here because it's just getting some food and. There's one ingredient in particular I've never been able before to uh, find 
in the markets and everything so i'm not gonna waste my time trying to do that one but uh krillin's mission is actually pretty uh interesting so we'll do it uh together boys all right krillin look at the curve on this one. Oh my Hello? hi krillin go on what are you doing no. oh i i was you know so it's gonna take us a long time to get planet namek right well, I was trying to do some research on whether or not we can train on the trip. That's what you were doing, huh? <laughs> yeah, and guess what? I figured out a new way for us to train. Though it's just... thought it's, uh, of it just a minute ago. You did? <laughs> it's called... Wait for it. Mental simulation training. Mental simulation training? But I've done that before. <laughs> yeah, but that was all by yourself, right? What I'm talking about is two people doing it. What? Two people? You mean that's possible? Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you give it a try right now? <sighs> I think it's actually about it. Phew. Good thing I came up with that before. Oh my god. Krillin, man. I swear. Wild imagination. All right, let's go, boys. Let's do that. I actually like that mission a lot. It's kind of funny. Here we go. Go on. Hi. Okay, tell me what to do. Ready? First, we need to match key levels. You should be able to handle that easily now, right? Okay. Yeah, um, like this, right? <laughs> yeah, that's the stuff. Next, we need to picture each other in our heads as clear as possible. That's the most important thing. Uh, really focus. All right. Right. Now, try to picture me in your mind. Krillin, Krillin. Oh, yeah, I can picture his shiny head. Oh, my God. Poor Krillin. Yeah, that looks about right. Actually, the other people have shiny heads too. Oh, shit. Well, wrong guy here. <laughs> Just because it's a ball guy. What the hell? Who the heck are you pitching you right now? Sorry, I kind of got distracted. What, what do you mean, kind of? You're beyond distracted. Well, I got it right the first time. Jeez, go on. You're killing me here. Anyway, you were able to form a mental image, so try and fight that image. Got it? Uh, okay. okay. All right, then. We're going to fight the uh, Nappa's image, which is kind of crazy. <laughs> That's uh, just funny at its own, the fact that he's level 18, though. All right, we're much higher than him on level, but let's go. we got to fight him again. Fight Nappa again, boys. Let's do this. Man, I swear that the thing is... Um... The whole thing is its so funny, man. Go on, it's like, oh. Well, Krillin's bald, so I'm just gonna think of his bald L, uh, head, right? But it turns out it's Nappa, which is completely ridiculous. Alright, let me just go ahead and do this. And I'm gonna finish him off with the Masenko. Easy. Really easy, right here. You're a real piece of work, you know that? I can't believe you thought of that Saiyan instead of me. Sorry, I couldn't help it. Seriously, it had to be him? Why do you need to focus on, focus on me being bald anyway? Sorry, Krillin. That's the first thing I think of when I think uh, of you. Actually, most people don't think of his bald hell. They mostly think of the fact that he da has no noise, uh, nose. Right? What about Tien? He, he's bald too. Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah, anyway, do it again. Try to focus on me this time, okay? Hi. All right. We're doing a lot again, boys. Drill in, all right. Focusing, boys. We got him. All right, I did it. Awesome, I knew it, you had it in you. All right, let's get another... Let's go to another round. The more we fight in our minds, the more our minds will get used to this. Hi. All right, let's go, boys. We're fighting Krillin now. Uh, these little missions are funny and also that you can fight people. I mean, I'll do them because they're uh, like they're pretty useful and also it's a little bit of, you know, instead of me wasting my time transitioning and everything, I can show you guys fights and everything, right? It's the same thing. It's pretty funny, so why not? Oh, shit. Hold on. I'm going to try to get... Oh, okay. It's a little bit cheating with uh, all these Kamehameha's right now. Watch out. Watch out. There's my Masenko, and he's done for. There we go. You're way under leveled, Krillin, for me right now. Level 20 for Gohan, boys. Here we go. 
So what do you think, Gohan? Seems like there's something we can do in our uh, the close quarters of spaceship, right? Okay. We don't have the room to move around much on the ship, but in our minds, we got plenty of room. And you think it'd be okay to uh, practice once more, one more time? I just want to make sure I've got it down. <laughs> Man, you're really serious about this. Sure, we can do it as many times as you want. Thank you so much. Thanks a bunch. Mm. All right, I'm betting Gohan's got Chi Chi to thank for his maturity. The kid's definitely not like Goku. Yeah, that's for sure. Uh, well then, what shall I do once we're training? Uh, done training? Maybe I could get uh, back to the book. Oh boy. All right, I can't be thinking about that now. Got focus. All right, think about go on. Got a picture go on. Oh no, not picture that though. So cute, so curvy. Oh shit. Oh well, that's not go on, my guy. All right then. That was something. Why am I looking at a girl? Uh, th that's not my image? Uh, oh, I know. That's Master Roshi's image. I, it's budding in my way. Uh, in my mind. Sure. Sure it is. <laughs> There's just no helping that old timer, huh? Yeah, yeah. Big Kappa right there. Huh? Krillin. Alright. Well, yeah, but Master Roshi's so good at mental image training. I can project his image. Yeah, right. What? Yeah, yeah. You can tell yourself that. Uh, but you're not. You're not fooling anyone. It's just I can't get this book I was looking at earlier out of my head. That book you were looking at was that kind of book. <sighs> You're seeing a side of me I was hoping you never see. You don't need to hide that from me. But you lost some respect for me, right? I was hoping to maintain my cool mentor image in front of you. That's what you're worried about? Have you been more of a goofy and strong and not really as cool mentor? That's a big ice. Oof, all right then. 6,000? And I gotta... I gotta upgrade my XP uh, a little bit here. All right, so 6,000, boys. Level 20 for Gohan. Now it's time to take a look at him really quick. Uh, he's probably gonna have some new upgrades. No, he doesn't? He doesn't. All right, well then. He, he probably does have... Uh, no, not, not even. All right. Well, he's still level 20. is pretty good. Uh, we're not going to do this mission and uh, the mission for Bulma. We're just going to head out right away for the main mission. We'll see what uh, the other mission for Bulma is. I've got a feeling I know what it is. Now we're ready to talk to Bulma. Let's go ahead and do that. I've wasted enough time already, right? I want to at least move out to Planet Namek in this video. That's the person I was looking for. Oh, what's up, Bulma? We're gearing up to go to Namek, right? I'm working on the spaceship that's going to get us there. But I'm short on parts. Oh, bummer. With Goku in the hospital practically mummified in bandages, you're the only one left for the job. Oh, no problem, Bulma. Leave it to me. That's the spirit. Here's what I need. All right. Think you can handle that? Sure, I can handle it. You gave me three ingredients. Uh, fetch quest again. But it's part of the main quest, so I got, I, don't, I got no choice but to do it, boys. So let's go ahead and do it right now. We gotta fetch uh, these... Little items right here, they're not too far away. Uh, Overwrite, Molosium, and a Termophyte, which we can find in, uh, in some of the rocks or whatever. And uh, should be easy enough to find. It's not that difficult actually to, uh, to find that out. So let's see right here. So we got that thing here. One of them is right here. That's uh, probably it. That's probably what we're looking for right here. Let me see real quick. Overwrite. All right, good. Next up, we're gonna go ahead and search in here. So what we are gonna look for, we're definitely gonna get attacked here. I got a feeling. I gotta watch out. Ah, oh, fuck! I didn't want to. Ah, whatever. They got me. Now they're gonna die. They want to attack me, boys. Now they're gonna. Me they messed with the wrong dude here. There we go. All right, let's go. It's level 12 as well. They don't have it, uh, uh, anything against me right now. I'm level 20. Let's go. We got them. So that's done. Uh, since that is done, I'm going to go ahead and see. So we got to figure out where the next thing is. Where that uh, thing could be. Which I don't see it right now. And this... Uh, oh, I think it's right there. I think that's it, boys. 
We might have found it. Yeah, I found it. All right, next item. It uh, should be really close by. I think it's around the area right here. We're still going to get attacked again. These goddamn robots are following me around everywhere. All right, let's figure out where that um, item is. Uh, it could be this. I don't think it's going to be that, though. I think that's a medal. I'm pretty sure that's a medal. Uh, yeah, it's a medal, so it's not what we were looking for here. So our thing is definitely in the area. We just got to figure it out. Oh, it's right there. Uh, what do you know, boys? There it is. Yep, thermophyte. We got all three ingredients. We just need to go back to Bulma. We got all of our parts, boys. That was actually pretty easy. Way easier than I thought it would be. Kind of, uh, kind of crazy when you think about it. So, All right, then, boys. Pretty good. Let's see real quick. We've got a lot of things going on right now. Where's Bulma's house? Yeah, Bul Bulma's house right there. Go on. There we go. Let's talk to her, boys. Mission pretty uh, easy to do, uh, really. Pretty easy to complete. All right, Bulma. Talk about speed. Everything check out. That's what you needed. Oh, well, that's good. Alright, so we got Bulma now. That's pretty good. And Bulma is actually the mechanic part, the development uh, section, which is awesome because now I can officially add these three guys to uh, for it. So, Alright, so this is the part where I might... I'm going to take a look really quick. Uh, can I switch parties? Can I switch the parties real quick? I can't, so I think this is about it. Um, there's still the mission that Kame else I gotta do, but, um, I think I'm ready to take off to, uh, the next area, which is going to be, uh, Namek. So, I think I'm going to do it, boys. I'm not high enough on levels to fight these guys. Not at all. They're level 29. I'm going to be in the 30s to beat these guys. So that's not going to happen right now. And, uh, the mission of Kame house is just annoying. So I'm not going to do it. Uh, I am going to go ahead and um, talk to Bulma. Tell her that we're ready to take off, boys. Let's head off for the next saga right away. So, you all set for the trip? Yeah, let's do it. All set. Okay. I'll just perform a few final checks and make my way over to Kame House. You go ahead and meet up with Krillin and the others. All right, we're back at Kame House, boys. Preparations for the journey to planet Nemec complete. Everyone is gathered at Kame House. <laughs> What's with the hair, Gohan? Yeah, that's true. The bold cop. That's uh, that's rough. Poor Gohan, man. My mom thought I should look more presentable. You know, when meeting an entire alien race for the first time. Well, the, the, looking more representable, a presentable is not by having a bold cop. That's for sure. Uh, you know. Uh, okay, man, your mom sure is strict. Counting on you, don't come back until you found those dragon balls. On it. Bye, Grandpa. Bye, Mom. Bye, Master Roshi. Rough boys. Write me every day, go on. Well, I don't know if I'm gonna have time for that, but we'll see. Here they go, boys. We're going to Namek. Meanwhile. Just as Bulma and the others left for planet Namek, Vegeta, back and fully recovered from his fight on Earth, learned of his commander Frieza's absence. Frieza was on his way to planet Namek with his most elite subordinates in tow. He was in search of the Dragon Balls that he learned of from Vegeta and the others on Earth. His goal? To wish for immortality. Vegeta hurriedly made his way to Namek, in an effort to catch Frieza and stop him. If Frieza is able to attain immortality, the universe is history. I'm not going to let that happen. Those Dragon Balls are mine! Meanwhile, 34 days after Bulma and the others left Earth, they finally arrived at their destination, Planet Namek. All right, we're there, boys. We've arrived. It's about then time. We did it! We actually made it to Planet Namek. Hmm. This place kind of reminds me of where Piccolo.
Piccolo trains me back on Earth. No use waiting around. Let's find those Dragon Balls. Oh, hey, check this out. I'm picking something up. No doubt about it. It's a Dragon Ball. You're right. Man, you're not kidding. It's massive, and it feels crazy strong. And there's something kind of evil about it, too. Uh, what's going on? There's nothing to freak out about. Besides, look at the reading I'm getting over there. The radar's picking up four Dragon Balls all in one spot. Don't you think that's a little bit suspicious, Bulma? Uh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> it's probably just some Namekians. We got nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we'll see about that. <laughs> well, look who it is. I feel like I've seen that ship somewhere before. It's a Saiyan spaceship! Vegeta's back. Go on, lower your power level. They'll know we're here. Vegeta, looks like it's just him. Well, Vegeta decided to uh, make a little bit of a vacation tour here. I am not letting you get your filthy hands on those Dragon Balls, Frieza. <laughs> Bulma, let the others know what's going on. And then head back to Earth. Bulma, let the others know what's going on, then head back to Earth. Gohan, sound good to you? Y yeah. Uh, okay. I'll get a hold of Master Roshi and fill him in first. Once I'm back, I'll pick Goku up and bring him here. I should be back in about two months. Two months is... Uh, right. Yeah, that's uh, a bit too much here. She can't really do anything other than that, but oh god damn it. There's another one. Hold the phone. What's another one of those things doing here? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I want to know. It's a whole invasion going on right now. We found it, Lord Frieza. Excellent work. Now only 3 remain out of my grasp. <laughs> Take care not to lose that Dodoria. It seems Vegeta is looking for the Dragon Balls as well. Yes, sir! Uh, pardon me, Lord Frieza. Kui has just intercepted Vegeta. Has he? My, that was fast. In addition, uh, the two large power sources from earlier have suddenly disappeared as well. I'll make my way to their location and investigate. I should be able to identify them shortly. Very well, but I'm more concerned about ridding myself of that traitor Vegeta. What a shame. I didn't think him foolish enough to turn against me, let alone attempt to steal the Dragon Balls for himself. Kui should be on his way to dispose of Vegeta. Should be interesting. Those two have long hated each other. They are roughly equal in power, I believe. So I assume it'll take a fair bit of time. You're not going anywhere, Vegeta. I'm going to enjoy blowing you to pieces. That's what you think, we. That's what you think. All right, Bulma. I'm heading back to Earth now. Good luck, you two. All I'll right. Be back with Goku as fast as I can. You do that. <gasps> Better than two months, please. Coming. Huh? Is it the Saiyan? No, it's it's not Vegeta. It's someone weaker. Probably a Namekian. It should be right around here. You fuck are these? Huh? What? Oh, those aren't Namekians. They don't look like Namekians. Who the hell are they? Their power levels are a joke. 
They're nothing but trash. I Who are you calling trash? Us, huh? Well, anyway, we got orders to annihilate everyone on the planet. Wouldn't be much fun if they got away. So let's take care of that spaceship of theirs. Sounds good to me. Oh my god, they just no. destroyed it. But so much for that. It's our ship! <laughs> Sucks to be them. Guess they were in the wrong place at the wrong time. What kind of assholes are they? Okay, go on. Feel free to let loose on these guys. They're nothing compared to you. Here goes. Great. Alright, you guys. What was the point of blowing up the ship? You fuck Alright. Level 17, huh? No, you don't. I got him. No. Alright, let's go. Solar flare, go on. Uh, uh, Krillin. And off you go. There we go. Level 14 for Krillin only, though? Okay, well, Krillin, you need to upgrade your shit, man. You're weak. That's rough. Uh, Lord Frieza, it seems like those two power sources from before may warrant more of our attention. They raised their power levels almost instantly and then vanished after defeating two of our scouts. That is indeed strange. I highly doubt it's Vegeta they would have killed. Correct, my lord. It can't be Vegeta. The sources each have a power level of about 1,500. 1500, is that right? Hardly anything worthy of our concern, wouldn't you say? They do seem rather unruly. If you happen upon these two, eliminate them. Let us leave Vegeta's destruction to Quill. They should have dealt with Vegeta right off the bat. They should have done it, boys, because Vegeta is going to go berserk in a minute here. Take a look at your scouters. You'll see my power level is leagues above yours. What about you? What if you just look at your power, uh, my power level, you I idiot? Not only did I get rip uh, Qu Limb from him, but I get to scrap Frieza's ship too. So these are not exactly Frieza's ship. It's just a bunch of uh, ships from Frieza's army, really. So that's what he meant. That's uh, Goku and uh, not Go uh, Gohan and Krillin are here. We've got uh, other people, of course, uh, all over the place. Uh, right now, we're just trying to find Kui and uh, get rid of him once and for all. We're finally playing as Vegeta, boys. Which is uh, really awesome, I gotta say. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play on my own a, li a bit here. I'm gonna save uh, Planet Namek, or at least the beginning of uh, this saga, for the next video. Remember to do the like and subscribe if you enjoyed uh, this video. Keep it easy, boys.